So if I told you I only got this one to check to make sure that my cosplay outfit of abstract was correct, I'd be lying. Hello Fortnite and toy fans, I'm here with another one of our Fortnite reviews. Now this guy happened, I've already gotten him out of the package and he happens to live sometimes on my art desk at the school. though. I can't really take the weapons with them. He usually has his harvesting roller and his back bling. So this is Abstract, part of the Writing on the Wall series of the uh, skins, and I think he's pretty cool. Now, we have so far, and I kept calling her Abstract, but Technique in the 4-inch form. This time we're getting Abstract in the 6-inch form. So this is a legendary series figure in a much bigger scale. Maybe one day we'll get abstract in a 4-inch form, or maybe even technique in the 6-inch form. I'm hoping for more from Hasbro at this point, since Hasbro has taken over the Legendary Series line. Now, with the Legendary Series with Jazzwares, these were actually done with a lot of the people who had transferred over from Toy Biz. So a lot of the same articulation with their 6-inch lines with uh, Marvel figures, we're probably going to be seeing in this figure as well. Now, before we get in that review, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe now. Hit that bell for notifications, comment down below, and like this video. I like talking with you all, and liking the video helps YouTube know that you like what I'm making. Now, let's get into it. Now, Abstract is a part of the Legendary series, and if I remember correctly, this was an Amazon exclusive for this particular figure. We get a nice window display of Abstract with the harvesting tool, uh, kind of a glider, or maybe that's part of the emoticons. Uh, we've got back bling, a sniper rifle, a silenced pistol, and then a couple switch out faces for different emotes. Now this is both 38 points of articulation, so it's got quite a bit of articulation to it. We get a picture of abstract down here from the game, which is pretty nice. And then on the side, we get another repeat of that. Going to the back. We get Fortnite Abstract, the writings on the wall, which was a cool part of the series. And it includes one six inch figure and seven accessories. So we're getting as many accessories as what comes in one of our normal four inch loot crate sets. Now, this is a part of series two, along with Valkyrie, Tomato Head, Jonesy, DJ Yonder, and Leviathan. Lots of cool figures in this line already. All right, now that's the package. And the package is gonna tell us anything else about this one. We need to get this one out and get to playing. So straight out of the package, of course, we got our figure and then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces all together. Now, these pieces look great and they have plenty of paint application. Let's take a look at that harvesting tool, the roller. I love this. So it's got the roller up here with some paint on it. And then, of course, it looks like it's been wrapped up with a crowbar, I guess, to really, like, roll out some damage. Ha, 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 ha. Dad joke number one. So, I really dig this. This is cool. It looks good. It's got a nice, shiny, like, metal paint to it, which is what we want. We also get that silenced pistol. And it's a good pistol. It even has, like, the cuts up here for the silencer. You get the scope up top some of the actual uh, beige browning here and the silver for the actual weapon itself. It looks really good. We get, of course, the scoped rifle. And this is a nice one. It's got plenty of paint application. It's got that nice wood brown up here. It's got kind of a gunmetal gray. Lots of shininess to it and that silver stock on there. It's a really good looking weapon. I dig this. It's not bent at all. It's just really good because I've, I've heard about some of these being bent then of course you've got that balloon and what I like about the balloon is you get, you're supposed to be able to fit his hand through it and he's supposed to be able to hold this balloon up it does feel a little heavy I'm wondering how his hands gonna hold that or if it eventually it's just gonna come up through like this and roll all the way down <laughs> we'll find out soon enough and then you've got his back bling and I love the back bling it's got this Nice gray on top, silvering here, some of the, the spray paint, like you've got the extra mask here. One thing I don't like is that we've got these three cans, and they're all just gray. There's no paint application. I think 
Even having like a little bit of silver on the tops of these would have been nice. Maybe even paint each one like blue, magenta, and yellow just to have that look. So that part makes it feel just a little boring, a little stale. Okay, we get two extra faces. So one is kind of the whoa face. And the other is supposed to be a mad face. Now, I'm looking at this one and I already feel like there's a problem. He doesn't look very mad, does he? Maybe if I tilt him down, her. But up front, he seems not so mad. So we're going to come back to this here in a minute. Let's take a look at the figure. Okay, so this is abstract. Now with abstract, he does come with this mask here and you can pull that mask down. His hat is attached to his head and you can pull his head down this far. Now the hood is actually attached to his body so it it doesn't travel with his head. It kind of just does its own thing and stays in place. And the hat, also the same, kind of does its own thing. It is stuck into place. It does have a little bit of movement back and forth though the hood does hinder that and including his gas mask or his uh, his respirator hinders some of that as well. You've got the nice ab crunch here and that rolls around. Uh, not a lot of waist articulation to be quite honest. And this does, the, the vest here does hinder a little bit of the movement, cause it to stick. And on that we also got these really super tight, super, super tight. Oh my goodness, super, super tight ball hinge shoulders up here. We also get that bi bicep swivel right there and double jointed elbows. We get, of course, the turn at the wrist along with the the pivot on the wrist there. And we're also getting the fingers that move right at the, the main knuckles of the, the hand. So that way you got trigger fingers and they can also hold on to things. We do get a, it's kind of a ball jointed uh, hip here. We get the hip cut, double hinge knees. We do get the rocker ankles, which nothing seems to be bothered too much. We do get that turn and then we get a toe articulation. So if he's on his tiptoe running, we can see it. Now, one thing I will say about this, um, the leg articulation is pretty much just like the four inch figures um, with the exception of the toes. So we've seen some of that before. The arms uh, are kind of specific to the six inch group. I will say with having these so tight and then having that bicep swivel, I'm more afraid I'm gonna break these biceps off. So I'm usually very, very careful with my figure. Now I'm looking at the face here and this face Let's see. <laughs> uh, so I think Jazz Wears <laughs> sent me. I think my figure actually came with the same exact face. If you want to pop his face off to change out the expressions, you're supposed to be able to get your fingernail in there and just kind of pop the face off. Now, it's a lot harder to do than you think, especially with that gas mask and hat in the way. But that pops off, so you've got that. You've got the face here, and let's look at those faces together. Yeah, that's pretty identical. So I've got two of the same face. And then I've got that kind of worried expression. This is the one that I happen to like quite a bit. So I'm gonna set that up in there, kind of get it up there towards his hat. I have to move this out of the way. This is, like I said, this has become like one of the hardest parts to change out those faces. So we'll push that up in there and then that pops into place and then he's got his worried expression there, which is pretty cool. There we go, eyebrows up, like what? <laughs> now the hands on these are a little something to be desired. Uh, when it comes to holding the weapons, I was always hoping that that finger would have fit into the uh, the well there, but it doesn't really hold that well. It keeps falling out. And because of that trigger well there, it, it doesn't necessarily hold that well to him. 
Um, oh, now you're going to hold on to it? Well, earlier it was pretty easy to disarm him, and he doesn't really hold it straight. This one seems to be a better fit for him. Uh, his hands fit on it a lot better, and he's able to hold this portion of the weapon as well. But it's still a little funny. It's not like the best holding I think I've seen. I think the best things that we've seen on them, the back bling works really well. The balloon, let's check out that balloon. Let's see how that one looks on him. We'll put it in his left hand. And you kind of have to fit it over. Yeah. You kind of have to fit it over his knuckles. And he can hold that there along with his pistol like whoops sorry you're about to have to be eliminated maybe he's getting a llama it's loot llama and he's he's about to laminate <laughs> the loot i think honestly the best piece that goes with him really is his harvesting tool it looks the coolest for him and it works well and as far as being on my shelf at school i could do this i don't think i could do the gun so normally at, at my classroom when he goes with me to school, this is how he sits. So, I don't know. I really dig him. I think he's a cool figure. Now, I got this on Amazon for sale. It was supposedly an open package one. I'm wondering if that's what happened with the face and why I got an extra face or not. But, you know, you can still find them out there on the market. I really think this figure is cool. I happen to like the character design quite a bit, enough that I wanted to cosplay at it, so that's what I'm working on for the Fan Expo. So for me, it seems kind of a no-brainer to have this figure. If you're going out looking for this, I believe that this is an Amazon exclusive, so you can only get it at the Amazon storefront. So if you happen to go out looking for them, good luck with the toy hunt. This episode of Teddy Ray Gun was sponsored by Marvin Dog Media. To learn more about Marvin Dog Media, visit www.marvindogmedia.com. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below to let YouTube know that you like what I'm making. And be sure to hit that bell notification so you get updates to future content.